Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and I'm going to show you how to use uh, single line arrows and double line arrows in object oriented PHP. So you have if you have taken a look at some of um some of the open source codes or maybe a PHP application that someone else wrote, uh, you might chances are you might come across a few arrows that look like these. Singled uh, lined arrows and double lined arrows. That's not what they're called, but I'm going to call them since they don't really have an official name. So um, to get started, uh, the the single line arrows are basically used to call upon methods or functions that were predefined in classes, and the double lined arrows are used to um, create uh, array variables inside PHP arrays. For the first uh, first arrow or the single lined arrows, I have already demonstrated how to use them in a previous tutorial, so I will give you a link in the comment section. And in that tutorial, I also was uh, showing you how to use basic uh, PHP classes, so this uh, will demonstrate it quite well, or that video will demonstrate it quite well. And in this specific video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the double lined arrows, which I haven't yet showed you guys how to use. So to do that, we're first going to create a new PHP file. And I'm going to save this as index5.php. And to demonstrate this, I'm first going to create a PHP array. I'm going to call it my array is equal to array and uh, we're going to give it three values red green and blue and just to uh, show you what we just created I'm going to go to go ahead and print these out So print r my array, and if I go back to the page we just created, index 5.php, there you go, there's our array, our first value is red, our second one is green, and our third and last one is blue. So that's the typical way of creating an array. Now let's create the same array using the double lined arrows. So I'm just going to create a new array. Let's call it my array two is equal to, and this time I'm going to say the first value or zero, since PHP arrays start counting from zero instead of one, is going to equal to red. The second one is going to equal to green, and the third one is going to equal to, let's just call it a uh, blue melodies, just to differentiate. Mel Luddies. And if I go ahead and print this array, my array 2, and I'm just going to go above and add a break tag here just for organization. If I go back here and refresh the page, there you go, there's our second array. So there's red, green, and blue melodies. So why would you want to use arrows and make it all complex like this instead of just doing it the standard way which is which seems quite concise? Well as your uh, PHP applications get longer and bigger um, and you might start creating arrays that have dozens and dozens of uh, array valuables maybe like a 50 or even like a hundred uh, array valuables in a single array then it starts becoming a little bit uh, hard to read if you have everything um, horizontally and that's when you might want to start benefiting from typing it out all vertically and what's even better yet when you're using the arrows for uh, creating arrays you can actually assign labels instead of just calling in 0, 1, and 2. Just to show you how to do that I'm going to create another uh, array so I'm, this time I'm going to call it my array 3 and it's going to be another array and this time, 
I'm going to call it, uh, or the first variable is going to be called or labeled apple. And that's, of course, going to equal to red. And grass is going to equal to green. And, and sky is going to equal to blue. And if I go ahead and print this array, print r and my array 3, and this is going to create another break tag here. Refresh the page, and there you go, we have our last array. So um, just to finish off this tutorial, I'm also going to show you how to actually uh, retrieve the variables in the different types of arrays that we just created. And to do that, I'm just going to first start off with our first array. And let's say I want to call upon the array value red. So how I do that is I'm just going to say echo my array. And then because it's the first, uh, first array variable or value, I'm going to say 0. And I'm just going to echo another break tag here to support organization. And if I go back to our page, refresh it, there you go. We have red right there. Let's go to our second array. And in this one, I'm just going to say my array 2. And let's say I want to call on um, green. So I'm just going to type 1 there. Echo another break tag. Go back and refresh. There you go. We have green. Cool. So for the final one, all we have to do is once again echo my array 3. And this time, since we don't have a number but a label, we just simply type in the label. So let's say I want to uh, retrieve blue. So I'm just going to say a sky, which is the label for blue, um, this line right here. And if I go back to our page, refresh it. There you go, I have blue echoed right there from the array. So that's the basics of how to use um, the double lined arrows. And of course, the single lined arrows tutorial is going to be linked in the comment section um, below. Hope that helped you guys out, and see you guys next time.